Republic Trooper, Prologue. Chaos grips the Galactic Republic. Influential star systems break away from the millennial-old alliance, angered over the Senate's treaty with the Sith Empire. On the planet of Ord Montel, civil war erupts between loyal Republic citizens and violent separatist extremists waging a campaign of terror against their own people. Now, an elite young sergeant from the Republic's famous Havoc Squad has arrived to help defeat the Separatists and restore peace to this war-ravaged world. There's not a feeling in this galaxy like riding a hundred ton walker right through the middle of a combat zone. Huh, <laughs> kid? Approaching Droliad Village, sir. Scope shows small arms fire and enemy movements in all quarters. Separatists are definitely moving on the objective. Another beautiful day on Ord Mantel. You excited, kid? Nervous? You know, you're the first new entry to Havoc Squad in some time. I'll fight the enemies of the Republic with everything I've got, sir. No need to call me, sir. We're in the field. You can lose the formality. I'm Lieutenant Bex Kolos, but everyone in Havoc calls me Gearbox. We're a tight unit. You'll like it with us. Let me tell you why we're here. The Separatists have nabbed the Republic bomb off a downed transport, a serious bomb. One of those orbital strike numbers. There's no telling where these grimy bushwhackers have hidden the thing. They have popular support and hideouts everywhere. Finding this bomb won't be easy. No mission is too tough for Havoc Squad. Hope you're right, kid. That bomb goes off and the whole island's one big crater. You'll get a full op brief once we reach Fort Garnick. For now, just sit back and... Code Red! Code Red! We've been hit by an AP missile! A shoulder launcher from somewhere in the village! Everyone, hold... Driver! Driver! Blasted, he's down! Backwater Separatists aren't supposed to have armor-piercing missiles. They'll tear up every convoy that passes through here. How should we proceed, sir? Fixing things is my specialty, kid. I'm nowhere near the fighter you are. I'll stay and get this walker moving again. You'll disable the Separatist missile launchers. Understood? Understood, sir. The Separatists will probably have their missile launchers piled together in a cache somewhere in the village. You can bet that cache will be heavily guarded. Find the cache, disable the missile launchers, and then double-time it back here. Got it, Sergeant? I'm on it. Good luck out there, kid. Alright, we are ready to start our new trooper playthrough. I'm currently rocking a sniper build. I don't really like any of the Vanguard stuff. They're too melee focused, the trooper abilities. So uh, I, I went ahead and went with the sniper build. And let's see, what's our first what's our first objective here? Bex Gearbox, a veteran member of Havoc Squad, has ordered you to search de delayed vil village nearby for a Separatist missile launcher cache and destroy it. Uh, 
awesome. Big fan of the sniper class. I played this on my uh, Imperial character, my Imperial agent, and I really enjoyed the sniper class. So I figured a trooper as a sniper makes sense. I just love the sniper shot too. So we got the cash down and we're gonna hollow go. Nice work, kid. You've got a talent, there's no denying that. I, however, didn't have much success. This walker isn't gonna be moving anytime soon. Don't beat yourself up. If it was possible, you'd have fixed it. Thanks, kid. Shame about the driver, though. Poor guy never had a chance. I'm gonna stay here and salvage all the goodies off this wreck before someone else does. You better head for Fort Garnick. Be sure to keep a lookout for Seps on your way to the fort. They can come at you out of nowhere. I'll keep my eyes open. Stay sharp out there. I'll see you later. Awesome. All right, so what are we doing here? Dispatch Separatist Forces. Six of ten. All right, so we need to kill a couple more guys for this bonus. Nice. We're leveled. One more kill. Let's get one of these guys at the doorway. Oh, we're going to have to kill all of these guys at the doorway. Nice. The sniper shot's really powerful. It's just like one shot kill most things. I'm gonna be focusing on the main scenario missions. I'm not gonna really go out my way to do all the zones. Just because I've done them so many times. That and the uh, main missions are the most entertaining and unique part of the uh, playthroughs. So I just want, I kind of want to just keep everything moving forward at a, at a good pace. Also, I don't know if you've checked out my my drip here, but. I went with this chest piece because it reminds me of like Cody from the Clone Wars, the, the kind of the top piece to it. And I had, I, and I, I've had this in my collections for a while. And so I had to get a couple different types of dyes to make it look the way I wanted to look. I wanted to have like a nice looking clone trooper type, type uh, trooper. But uh, I, I think it came, turned out really well. I'm like really happy with it. I do have a, a crystal to put in my gun here. Um, right now it's got the default crystal, um, but it doesn't let you put a crystal in until you're like level 10. So I'm going to hold on to that for now. And we got another level. Fort Garnick. I'm going to try to read um, most of the unvoiced dialogue, like mailbox stuff that comes in and just kind of check in with our quest dialogue uh, here and there. Like after, uh, after dealing with the threat on your squad mate's gearbox, uh, one of your squad mate's gearbox has ordered you to proceed on foot to Fort Garnick where the rest of the Havoc squad is stationed. Make, make your way to Fort Garnick and speak with Commander Heron Tavis the leader of Havoc Squad in the Republic Center, which is right here. Excuse me, Sergeant. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but you're the new member of Havoc Squad, aren't you? I'm Farn, sir. Private Farn. It's a real honor to meet you. Lord Mantell is my first post. I can't believe I'm here at the same time as Havoc Squad. If, uh, if you don't mind me asking, sir, what's your mission here? Why would Havoc Squad be sent to Ord Montel? We're tracking down a bomb. The Separatists stole the Republic bomb, so we're here to take it back. 
Whoa, sounds like dangerous stuff. I, uh, I won't take up any more of your time, Sergeant. I'm sure you have lots of really important things to do. You're dismissed, Private. Goodbye, sir. <clears throat> yes. So if we focus our efforts on M Sector, I'm certain that... Sergeant, welcome. Welcome. Good to have you here. I'm Commander Heron Tavis, Havoc Squad's commanding officer. We're all excited to have some new blood in the unit. Let me introduce you to the other members of Havoc Squad. My second-in-command, Captain Zora, is the squad's infiltration and assassination specialist. We call her Wraith. Sergeant. This is Fuse, Lieutenant Vanto Bazrin. He's an expert with every type of explosive in the known galaxy. Oh, uh, yes. Hello, Sergeant. Hello. Uh, good to meet you. And this is Needles, Lieutenant Ryler Durant. Needles is a medical genius. He's particularly adept at synthesizing powerful new combat stimulants and adrenals. Perfection is my art, Sergeant. It will be my honor to help you perform at your very best. And of course you met Gearbox on your way here, so that's everyone. People, this is the new Sergeant I mentioned. Rank first in the Academy in Forward Assault, Search and Destroy, and Advanced Recon. It's good to have you, Sergeant. It's a real pleasure to meet all of you. Now, the reason we're all here. A Republic transport carrying among its cargo a ZR-57 orbital strike bomb crashed in northern Avalotan six days ago. Recovery unit sent a team, but they were too late. Separatist forces had already stolen the transport's cargo, including the ZR-57, and fled. Someone on our side must have tipped the SEPs off. Yes, we've considered that possibility, but we don't have time for a mole hunt. Recovering that bomb is priority one. The ZR-57 is... Well, it's serious hardware, you know? I mean, it can pretty much vaporize this whole island. So we'd better get it back, or, well, boom. We're investigating several leads to the bomb's location. But the one I'd like you to look into, Sergeant, comes from a Republic spy named Bellis. Bellis reported making an important discovery, but he's too deep to exfiltrate for a full report. Instead, you'll rendezvous with Bellis in a nearby village called Talaran. Bellis will meet you in a small alley in Talaran. Find out what he's discovered, then return to base immediately, understood? I'll talk to the guy. I have one last introduction to make. This is Lieutenant Arik Jorgen, an operations officer from the Republic's Ord Mantell Infantry Command. Since we're on individual missions to search for this bomb, Lieutenant Jorgen is coordinating our efforts from here within the mission room. All right, Sergeant. I'll be overseeing your op through the camera mounted on your armor, so I see what you see. It's activated when you leave the fort. I'll make this completely clear, rookie. When you're in the field, what I say goes. Period. Understood, sir. Just make your way to Talaran, meet up with Bellis, and find out what he knows without screwing anything up. Good luck in Talaran, Sergeant. Dismissed. The trooper story is actually one of the ones, this is the last uh, class story that I have not uh, completed. So this will be the first for me to get this story done. I've played lots of Jedi, lots of Sith, lots of everything else, but the trooper is one of the ones that uh, I, I play the least. So this has been a long time coming to get this, to get this playthrough done. Mainly because I, I didn't really like any of the uh, combat classes associated with the trooper. They're very melee focused and I feel like this should be a range character. And, and uh, the tanks are, are, are melee and most of the DPS classes are kind of melee focused. So I, I didn't really care for them. And then the abilities, I didn't really like the abilities either. So now that you can combine the classes with any any type of combat class you like, uh, sniper is actually one of my favorites. So what do we got here? Defeat separatists, henchmen. Just pick them off one at a time. <laughs> All 
Alright, we got five down. We need five more. Oh, these guys don't count. These aren't henchmen. This guy does. This guy counts. All right, now we got a thermal frag fragmentation grenade. Fragmentation grenade. Which is our first AOE ability. before we go on there's a henchman right there oh you got binoculars but you're not gonna see this coming find Bellis Back here. Oh, yeah, he's dead. The spy. Sorry, buddy. Great. Bellis is KIA. That's a mm -hmm. fine work, Sergeant. Do you think you could have taken a little longer getting to the RP <coughs> point? Damn, Jordan. I'm sorry. I'm here as fast as I could. Not fast enough, rookie. However, there is a chance you might be able to find out what Bellis learned. If you follow procedure, Bellis should have left a coded recording of his discovery in his field box, hidden somewhere inside his home in Talaran. Remember, if the Separatists know Bellis was a spy, they may already be searching his house or waiting to ambush Republic agents as they come. Stay alert. You have to get that field box from Bellis' house before the Separatists do. Double time it. Roger that. Jorgen out. All right. I'm gonna retrieve Bellis' field box from his house. In this house is right over here. Excuse me? What are you doing in my house? Is there no limit to your nerve? You barricade the town, you break into people's homes. Are you insane? You're going to blow my husband's cover, storming in here in plain view. What are you thinking? Bellis isn't even here. He left for some kind of meeting. Now get out of here before you raise suspicions. Oh crap, I gotta tell his wife that he's dead. <laughs> uh. I'm afraid your husband was killed by the Separatists, ma'am. No, no, not Bellis. He can't be dead, no. Bellis risked his life every day for you. And now you've gone and gotten him killed. My poor sweet Bellis. You should be very proud, ma'am. Your husband died serving the Republic. What are you, a droid? He was my husband! <laughs> I don't care about you or your stupid Republic. My husband is dead. Please. A lot of innocent lives are on the line. We need your husband's field box. Why should I give it to you? You got my husband killed. All of you. You killed him! The Separatists murdered your husband, ma'am. Not me. Yes, because you made him spy on them. He'd be alive if not for you. Your husband gave his life to bring us this information. If you don't help us now, his sacrifice will mean nothing. Don't feed me that garbage. You want the field box? Fine, it's over there. Take it. Take it and get out. Your husband was a true hero, ma'am. You have my deepest condolences. Please, just go. Oh, Bellis. Well, that didn't go so well. Oh crap. They followed me in here. Return to the Republic Command Center. Oh shit. Being ambushed. 
go get this loot. Or what do we got here? Under the orders of Lieutenant Jorgen, you recovered Bellis's field box, hoping it contains the information he uncovered. Return with the box to the Republic Center in Fort Garnick. I don't want to run into these guys while I was reading. Yeah, look at them celebrating me. All right, we made it back. Let's check in. Oh, Sergeant, hey, you're back. Good job out there in Talaran. Really nice work. I'll take the field box you retrieved, Sergeant. And maybe next time, you could bring me a live Republic agent instead. Lieutenant Bazarin here still thinks you're mission-worthy, so he has a task for you. He'll brief you while I start decoding Bellis's intel. Oh, yes. Um, we found an urgent lead while you were in Talaran, Sergeant. The perfect op for our new assault specialist. What's the assignment? Here's what happened. This refugee comes into the fort, right? Not that unusual. But this guy says he knows about a Separatist bombing. One happening today. All we got was his name. Miru. Because he was thrown out of the fort before we could get to him. I don't think throwing informants out is standard procedure. Bums come here every day trying to trade intel for credits. It's bogus 90% of the time, so the grunts downstairs usually chase them off. I guess Miru could be lying, but what if he does know about the ZR-57? We can't take that risk. Anyway, we looked into it, and Miru is staying over in the refugee camp. See if you can find him there. Yes, sir. And while you're gone, Jorgen will decode the information from Bellis's field box. Hopefully we'll find out what the Separatists are hiding. Now get to the refugee camp and get Miru's intel, soldier. If this bombing's happening soon, there's no time to waste. All right, let's get going. We got to go speak to Miru. Really close by. Gather some more intel from this informant. See if they'll help us. Oh no, not this again. What, you people didn't have enough fun beating me up at the fort? You gotta come find me here too? You're nothing but thugs in uniform, and your bosses are going to hear about it. Your bosses' bosses. All the way on Coruscant, you hear me? You're going down. This was all just a misunderstanding, sir. Calm down. Look, what do you want from me, huh? Because I've had enough of you people for a lifetime. You said you had information for us earlier. I came to find out what you know. So, now you want the information. Well, you know, I probably could have helped a few hours ago, before that whole savage beating I got. But now, after all the trauma, I might have just forgot everything I knew about any Separatist bombings. Please, thousands of lives are at stake here. What about my life, huh? Things ain't that easy out here for me. Now, if I knew how much the Republic valued my contribution, say, with a few credits, my memory would probably be much better. I'll speak to my superiors about your compensation after we've acted on your intelligence. The same superiors who threw me out of the fort? I don't buy that for a minute. The situation is different now. Getting your intel is priority one. Fine, fine, whatever. Just remember who it is who helped you out on this, all right? I saw the Separatists hiding a bunch of bombs alongside the road near here. You know, setting up an ambush. I heard them say the bombs are time to blow when some troop convoy is going past. I don't know when, but it's gotta be soon. So, uh, are we done here? Because I got a lot of work I need to do around the camp today. Keep your eyes open. We need all the intel we can get. Oh yeah, sure. I'll stay in touch. Seems like they really don't like us getting a hollow call. All right, Sergeant. I copied what Miru said, and this bomb situation sounds like the real thing. I want you to head for the road Miru described and locate the Separatist hidden bombs. A troop convoy is scheduled to move through the area any minute now, so you need to get those bombs defused ASAP. Double time it, soldier. I'll move out right away. Jorgen out. Uh, 
sniping from the hilltop. Nothing like picking off the grunts. Let's see what we got here. We got head up here. Nice. All right, what are we doing? Disarm the first bomb. Okay, so we got three bombs to disarm. Shooting fish in a barrel. See, so yeah, let's take one of those med packs. Oh, yeah, XP boost here. Uh, where'd that med pack go? There it is. Let's see, we've got six of these. Let's throw these down here just in case we don't have anybody to heal us right now. So we might need those. Alright, so now we need to go back to the command center. Acting quickly, you intercepted the Separatist ambush and disarmed their bombs before they could hurt anyone. Return to Republic's command center in Fort Garnick for further orders from Commander Tavis. I'm really liking this gear. This is a pretty good trooper set. Sergeant! Sergeant! Excuse me, Sergeant! I'm very sorry to bother you, sir, but you're the only person I could think to go to. All of the other officers I've met here are completely corrupt. All but you, sir. I know I can trust you. I appreciate your trust, Private. Now speak freely. What's this all about? It's my CO, Lieutenant Verk. He's scamming everyone in his command, and nobody does anything about it. Verk forces all of us to kick up to him to get safe postings. Credits, weapons, stuff we confiscate from the Seps, everything. If you don't play along, Verk assigns you to the most dangerous patrol routes on the island. It's like a death sentence. Corrupt officers give us all a bad name. Someone should report this guy. My buddy tried to report him. The next day, he disappeared to Talaran. And the day after that, he came back in a box. You're in Havoc Squad, sir. You're important. You could talk to someone who matters. I'll inform my superiors about Lieutenant Verk's activities immediately, Private. Thank you, sir. So much. I really appreciate this. I do. I just do what I can. I really appreciate it, sir. Thanks again. Looks per like the troopers are pretty shady. Ah, Sergeant. Good to see you again. Superb work on that ambush situation. Adaptability like that is what Havoc Squad is all about. We're no closer to finding the bomb than we were before. Not for long. I have good news. Lieutenant Jorgen has finished reviewing the intel from Bellis's field box. It's given us a real breakthrough. Was there more? Or do I start guessing? Bellis discovered that the Separatists have the ZR-57 secured inside their supply outpost on Mana Point, a small island just off the coast. I sent Wraith ahead to reconnoiter the outpost, and she successfully located a secured area where we believe the bomb is stored. Judging by the dramatic increase in the number of guards and the complex security systems installed, we're certain the bomb is there. Honestly, with security like this, Man at Point looks more like an Imperial military base than a Separatist hideout to me. 
I think the Seps are getting a helping hand, Commander. From the Imperials? That seems unlikely, Lieutenant. Surely our spies would have discovered any Imperial involvement on Ord Mantell long before now. The Seps do seem unusually well equipped, Commander. We can discuss the possibility of any Imperial connections later. Let's focus on the mission at hand. Wraith can't breach the secure area of the Manet Point outpost alone, so I'm sending you in immediately. The Manet Point bridge is out of commission, so you'll have to make an amphibious approach to the island. When you arrive, effect entry into the supply outpost and rendezvous with Wraith inside. She'll give you further instructions at that time. Understood? Before I go, sir, there's a lieutenant named Burke running a bribery scheme with the men under his command. Burke? I know the guy. He's a pretty pathetic officer. But nobody's ever made any official complaints. None that I heard about, anyway. Lieutenant Jorgen and I will see to this. You should get moving to Manet Point so that you can rendezvous with Wraith inside the Separatist outpost. Dismissed. Nice. Level 6. Said we're going to take an amphibious approach. So we're going to, like... Get some scuba gear. Go underwater or something. Gotta hit this taxi. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Oh, we're going this way. Get in there. Let's see, speak with Wraith to Wraith. Rendezvous with Wraith near the Separatist base at Manic Point. Let's take out some of these guys. So we got a strong enemy here. He almost went down with one snapper bullet. Alright, there we go. Bonus. Defeat Separatist Battlers. So what do we got? A rocket. Gunner, rocket gunner. Says in count. Alright, let's get inside. Marksman. Another marksman. Oh, there's a battler. So we got on the left. Another trooper. Strong unit. Battler right there. The marksman with them. Another marksman. Alright, let's meet up with Wraith. Sergeant, no time to waste. The bomb is behind a force field. We're breaching it. Just tell me what to do. I will disable the shield from here. You pass through and destroy its generator. When the generator is down, I will rejoin you. Understood, sir. Then go. Disable the force field generator. So we've got there's some battlers here. Two of them. Two can play at that game. Three more battlers. Let's take out this separatist trooper here.
these guys are battlers. Let's see, I want to get the last of them before I go in. I need two more. What we got over here? There's one battler. At least one battler. Oh, let's see. Maybe we can get our last one right here. Yeah, there we go. Going up to level two. Marksman. Nice. We got some new abilities here. Let's see what we got. We got Suppression Fire, sprays a wave of bolts over tar the target area, dealing 525 to 549 weapon damage and spending 45 energy over the duration up to up to 8 targets within 8 meters. can only be used from cover. Okay, so this is our AoE ability. We're going to put that up here. And then fires a dart at the target, it deals 281 internal poison damage over 18 seconds. Okay, so we have a dot here. I'll put that right there. Yeah. So this is our main AoE ability. Oop, going the wrong way. Hold your fire, we surrender. We surrender. Please. We're all hurt. Bad. We can barely walk. We won't interfere or try to stop you. I swear it. We'll just we'll, we'll walk out the door and never come back. Just please let us live. You can go. As long as you don't cause trouble. Understood? Really? You mean it? Thank you. Thank you. You're an honorable soldier. We appreciate it. There's a lot more shooting to be done. Keep your heads down and move out. We'll do that. Thanks again. Finally found the field generator console. Locate the ZR-57. Proceed into the secured area and retrieve the stolen ZR-57 orbital strike bomb. Soldier? How did you get in here? In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to surrender. Go ahead. Take me in. Torture me. I'll reveal nothing. The glorious Separatist movement will never submit to your decadent so-called Republic. Hmm. No bomb. That's right. We're three steps ahead of you. Three hundred steps ahead. Separatist movement is an unstoppable force, driven by the will of the people. Enough. Kill him? I'll follow your lead, Wraith. The, the glorious... You don't... You don't scare me. I... Ah! Wait, wait! The bomb! They moved it! They, 
They moved it! My commander came. He... We took the bomb down to the coast and loaded it onto a sea speeder. I don't know where it was taken after that. Extensive security. Why? It's because, well, Safro, Viru, and Bol are here. Three of our greatest heroes who led us in our glorious... <gasps> they're, uh, they're officers, cell commanders. They run operations in different parts of Avila Town. They're having a conference, relocating men to different cells. They're... They're dead, Sergeant. Dang, she smacked the zealot right out of him. I'll take care of them, sir. Safro, Viru, and Bull are priority one targets, Sergeant. And recovering their data on separatist cell locations and manpower is too good an opportunity to pass up. That data will be critical to learning the bomb's movements before it's too late. You have your orders. Get the data. Kill the officers. Go. I didn't think we'd be executing people. But I guess it is a wartime. Telling you, I heard blaster fire. I think we've been compromised. There, intruder. Ball, call for backup now. In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to surrender. Safro, wipe the data. We can't let it fall into enemy hands. He's just one man. Kill him. Um, Havoc Squad. Alright, we've downloaded the data. Return to the Com Republic Command Center. Uh, this will take us back to the entrance. But I think uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna teleport my way back. Wait a second. On spot. There we go. Quick travel. Pretty close. Oh, it looks like we got a, a lore object here. Public military ranks. Sergeant, you've returned. Well, masterful work eliminating the separatist officers. The beast has been beheaded. I'll get the officer's data out to the rest of Havoc right away. As for you. Lieutenant Doran here has a special op already planned out. Earlier today, a man named Zack came to the fort from Oradam Village seeking medical attention. Zack was suffering from acute radiation poisoning, causing catastrophic organ failures. His body was practically tearing itself apart from within. Quite magnificent to observe. Is it normal for villagers to get radiation poisoning, sir? Not at all. As a day laborer, Zack performs pointless menial tasks that would never involve any kind of radiation exposure. On the other hand, Fuse told us that the ZR-57 can leak significant amounts of radiation if handled improperly. Zack must have been near the ZR-57, knowingly or otherwise. I want the details, even if you must pry them from his dying husk of a mind. Understood, sir. The medics who treated Zack weren't equipped to cure his condition. Most of their supplies have been stolen by scavengers. However, if you were to retrieve the necessary ingredients to treat Zack's affliction, I think you would find the offer of a cure very useful in gaining his cooperation. Given that Zack's current medications can promise only a lifetime of excruciating pain, the potential for a full recovery should be an excellent motivator. Command knows exactly where the scavengers are. We just haven't had the resources to deal with them. Here are the coordinates and a list of ingredients to retrieve. Any questions? Hit the scavenger camp, retrieve the ingredients, and cure Zack's radiation poisoning. Understood. Once you've got the cure collected, you'll confront Zack at his home in Ordam Village and question him about the ZR-57. Nothing fancy on this, Sergeant. Just get the ingredients, get the intel from Zack, and then get back. Dismissed. Nice. Respectable. Is it me or is Needles pretty creepy? He seems pretty creepy. 
Seems like he's on the wrong side. Recover an Albon's pack. Recover a Vimadone pack. Recover a medical injector. Let's take these guys out. Nothing Havoc Squad can handle. Oh, we gotta go way over there. Alright, now that we've finished double timing it over here, let's get this done. Two of the supplies we needed, so now we just need to find the Albon's pack. Which probably just kill these guys and one of them will drop it. Now that you've fabricated a cure for the condition, for the, this is time to question Zach about his, his recent activities, interrogate Zach in his, uh, in his home in Oradam Village. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Put it on. Oh no, wait. I'm gonna need to put it out. I will do this later. Gonna need to save my outfit so I can upgrade the gear. Oh, which one's Zach? You're Zach. You. You're a soldier, right? From the fort? Please help us. We're really sick. My wife is dying. Forget it. Uh, I'll be fine, Zack. Just get that soldier out of here. No, Jawler. Please, soldier. The medic's at the fort. I talked to them earlier. Please, tell them to send help. As long as you tell me what I need to know, everything will be all right. What? I, I don't understand. What would you need our help with? You've been poisoned by radiation from a stolen Republic bomb. What? You mean... Jawler, do you know anything about this? Quiet, Zack. We don't know anything about... Ugh, anything. They're the reason we're both sick! Aren't they? You're dying because of them! Zack, don't. You ruin everything. 
The movement... The movement sold us out! They don't care about us! They just care about their weapons and their secrets! No. I'll never betray the movement. Never. Let's not make this any harder than it has to be, ma'am. Jaller, they aren't worth dying for. Think of me. I love you. If you love me, Zack, you won't betray everything I stand for. Please let me go. Please, Jaller. No. Use this injector. It'll cure your radiation poisoning, both of you. Really? Thank you. Thank you so much. No, Zack. Not worth... Shh. You're going to be okay now. I'm not going to lose you, Jaller. I'm not. You've saved us, soldier. You've saved Jaller. I owe you everything. If you want to repay your debt, you'll tell me where the bomb is. Oh, right. The, the crate. Jaller and I helped move this really big crate. We got sick right afterward. I'm sure it's what you're looking for. We dropped the crate off at the stronghold. It's the Separatists' main base. Thank you for your assistance. So long, soldier. Come in, Sergeant. I copied everything. Sounds like we're gonna be hitting the Separatists where they live. Good work. Just doing my duty. I hope you're ready for this. The Mountain Stronghold is the Separatists' most fortified position on the entire island. Getting in there won't be easy. I put out the call. Havoc is assembling immediately, so get back here on the double. I'll head there immediately. Jorgen out. Whoa, whoa, not so fast, Sergeant. You and me need to have a little talk. I'm Lieutenant Verk. I think maybe you heard of me. See, my boys here saw you having a chat with little Ensign Farn. I know Farn told you about my business, and I know you went and blabbed about it to some very important people. And now, I got a mountain of paperwork to do, hearings to go to, people asking questions, and I don't like that. You're extorting your own men, Verk. No, I have one person to blame for these problems. You. Wise up. This island is my little kingdom. I can make sure people live, and I can make sure they die. So you better believe that I'm going to make extra sure you come home from your next assignment in a box, Sergeant. We could settle this right here, Verk. Or are you afraid of me? Afraid? I ain't afraid of you. If you want to die so bad, then let's make it happen. Lock and load, boys. We're taking this punk down. Whoa, boss. Are you sure? I mean, we're right in the middle of the fort. Someone might hear. So turn on the sonic damper field. That's what we got it for. And somebody shoot this punk. Yes, sir. Puts it into you. Ah, oh, Sergeant. Welcome back. Grab yourself a seat. You're gonna be observing the op here with me. I take it the rest of my squad is already in the field? Havoc Squad is infiltrating the Separatist stronghold to retrieve the ZR-57 as we speak. Commander Tavis was very clear. Under no circumstances can I send you in to join Havoc on this mission. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. I honestly thought you were starting to come along, but... I guess Tavis still isn't convinced you're ready for the big time. I trust Commander Tavis's judgment. Maybe next time, Sergeant. I'm sure... Lieutenant, sir! We've got a situation here! Talk to me, Ensign. What's going on? We've lost contact with Havoc Squad, sir. Comms, video locators, everything! It's like they've disappeared completely! That's unacceptable, soldier! You get back to that terminal, and you get me Havoc status. Now! Yes, sir! Do you think Zack and Jaller set us up, sir? There's no way to tell from here. Whatever happened was bad. Still no signal from Havoc Squad, sir. I think we may have lost them. All right, listen up, people. This mission will not fail on my watch. We are not going to let that bomb get away again. Infiltrating that stronghold is a mission only Havoc Squad can pull off. Lucky for us, we have one Havoc Trooper left. Sergeant, you're going in there. <laughs> ZR-57 must not remain in Separatist hands. Is that clear, Sergeant? 
Yes, sir. We were hoping to get the bomb back intact, but we're way south of a best-case scenario here. So here's the new plan. We have the deactivation code for the ZR-57. We disarm the bomb, leaving the SEPs with nothing but a big radioactive paperweight. You'll have to hijack the Separatist's comm system to broadcast the code. This data spike should do the trick. I never thought it'd come to this, Sergeant. I don't need to tell you what happens if you don't pull this off. I've never failed a mission before, and I'm not gonna start today. That's what I like to hear. You have the coordinates for the Separatist stronghold. I'm sure you can guess how much security they're likely to have. Breach the perimeter, use the data spike on the comm terminal, and shut the ZR-57 down for good. Thousands of lives are on the line, Sergeant. We're counting on you. Good luck, Sergeant. If I could one shot this guy with the sniper now. Powerful attack by AOE. Place looks like it got cleared out. I wonder if somebody just was came through here. Any bonuses? Let's see if there's any bonuses. Nope, no bonus for killing in this place. to just pop down on my face. See, how do we get over there? Okay, the bridge right there. most effective CC in the game brings everybody to a standstill. At least it's a short elevator. I 
I threw a bomb and it didn't even show up. Imperial officer. Goodbye. Let's get this data spike in this console. You did it, Sergeant. That was some top-notch soldiering. We're all proud of you. Thank you, sir. Looks like we've got a whole new problem. Not all of those guards you killed were Seps. Imperial soldiers operating right alongside the Separatists. We need to know how deep this connection goes. I want you to continue further into the base. Finding the rest of Havoc Squad is now priority one. If they've been captured, they might be able to tell us more about what's going on in there. If possible, you should also retrieve the ZR-57. It costs about 40 million credits, so command would like it back. But your squad mates are the main objective now. My squad mates are here. I'll bring them home. Good luck, Sergeant. Let's go rescue half squad. That's what it says. You've uncovered evidence that the Separatists are working with the Sith Empire, leading Jorgen to send you further into the stronghold and search for more information and you and your lost squad mates. Attempt to locate your squad mates inside the Separatist stronghold and learn the extent of the Empire's involvement. like a smuggler over there just vanished oh stealthy Dang, this place is big. I don't remember this place too much from when I played my smuggler.
One of the things I wish they would add is like a quality of life feature is that whatever crystal you have like in your weapon I wish it would apply to like things like the shield here so that they're not like always red. This feels like it would be nice because you spend a lot of time going for a specific aesthetic that you're trying to put on your character and you customize everything and then it doesn't fit with the color scheme because they've hard coded some of these things. Hopefully that's something that they can look into in the future. Changing of their nice, I think. Awesome. Go ahead and clear out all these guys. Alright, what do we got here? We have escape, that's our movement. Purges all incapacitating movements. And then leg shot. I don't know that I use this very much. Fires a shot that deals 114 weapon damage and immobilizes the target for five seconds. Direct damage dealt after two seconds ends the effect uh, prematurely. Okay, yeah, I don't really use that too much, so we'll see. I'll put on my bar for now, but seems like something you'd use more like in PvP scenario. so powerful just mows down anything and everything even these strong units too and they usually die before the like by the time the full duration's gone as well as anything else oh I forgot oh we can uh see open our inventory we can now put our crystal on our weapon. And then uh, let's go ahead and, and then we'll update the outfitter. Now I should have a now I should have blue. See the light on the side? Yeah, it's blue now. And the bullets should be blue. Yeah, that's cool. I like also the barrel. The barrel on this one is really cool. See, like, the sniper didn't even kill that guy, but if I even just drop the AoE on it, the AoE will just take him out. But I think that's just because I don't, I don't have... Uh, I don't have my guaranteed crit yet. There's a guaranteed crit ability that you can push before you snipe something that will just ensure that you one-shot it. It's also weird that the sniper rifle has like a machine gun suppression fire. Because it's a sniper rifle, it's not meant to be a machine gun. <laughs> this guy coming out of the out of the shadows. Yeah, basically that's the answer to everything. Suppression fire. Let's go ahead and uh, untrack this. All right, we finally made it into our class story instance. Separatist commander, no problem. Throw a grenade at you, knock you down, finish you off. Oh, I can purge those now. All right, here we go. completely mow them down. Every single one of these guys is hitting me with uh, slow movement ink, movement disability.
Commander Tavis, what are you doing? Sergeant, I thought my orders were very clear. You aren't supposed to be here. I will take him. No, Wraith. The Sergeant deserves to know the truth. I had hoped it wouldn't come to this. I harbor no ill will toward you. You're everything a warrior should be. But I'm afraid the Republic no longer values her warriors, even the very best among them. You fought the Empire for years. Do you really think things are better over there? The Empire respects warriors, Sergeant. The Republic's top officials, on the other hand, have decided to cast us aside. The truth is that no matter what they may say, the Republic Senate doesn't actually believe it can win another war against the Empire. That makes you and I a threat. Every Havoc Squad victory fires up people's imaginations. It fills them with pride, which means the bureaucrats can't afford to let us keep succeeding. We can win, Tavis. We have to win. The Imperials must be defeated. If only you'd been with us longer, Sergeant. You would understand. You might even have come with us. The Republic abandoned us. During a mission on Ando Prime, they simply left us to die. But I won't try to persuade you. Honestly, I hope you die with your ideals intact. The rest of us will never have that luxury. It's not too late, Tavis. You can still turn back. Turn back to what? The Republic that wants me dead and gone? No, Sergeant, I think not. Oh, uh, by the way, good work finding the ZR-57 for us. We were starting to worry that the Separatists might, you know, waste our big present for the Empire. But thanks to you, we can now present the Empire with this magnificent tool of destruction. The Imperials won't be very impressed once they realize the bomb is neutralized. A clever bluff, Sergeant, but it won't help you. We'd better get a move on, boss. If we don't break Atmo in the next few minutes, every gun in the sky will have a clear shot on us. Time we were off. Colonel Vor, please give the sergeant the warrior's death he deserves. You'll regret this, Tavis. I won't rest until I've taken you down. It's been an honor serving with you, sergeant. Goodbye. Some of this is starting to come back to me now. I think I've played the introductory for this story a long time ago. And uh, now I'm starting to remember. Yeah, that's right. The Havoc Squad basically goes rogue on us. And we become the new Havoc Squad. All right. So we basically, we're done here. Let's see. You need to return to the Republic Command Center at Fort Garnick and report this information at once. All right. So we're, gonna, we're just going to teleport back there. Due respect, how can you do this? I've served with you in infantry command for years. That's enough, Jorgen. This wasn't my choice. But a defection of this scale, somebody has to sway, and the powers that be say it's you. What's going on here? Your command full of traitors just destroyed my career, Sergeant. Command can't punish them, so they're burning me instead. You must be our last loyal Havoc member. I'm General Vander, Republic Chief of Operations for Ord Mantell. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. On behalf of the Republic and the people of Ord Mantell, I want to thank and congratulate you for your courageous actions in disabling the stolen ZR-57. Your heroic efforts saved countless innocent lives. In recognition of your valiant service, I hereby promote you to the rank of Lieutenant. Congratulations. This is just too good to be true. Congratulations, sir. Now, Lieutenant, as the last remaining member of Havoc, the duty of rebuilding the squad falls to you. Havoc is your command. To get the process started, I've decided to assign Sergeant Jorgen here as Havoc's first new member. I'd be glad to have you in the unit, Jorgen. I'll take the Havoc patch and Sergeant Stripes if it means I get to grind them into Tavis's face before we kill him. This is the best I can do for you, Jorgen. 
You're a good man. We need good people now more than ever. I don't know what Tavis is planning, but he knows the inner workings of our military better than anyone. The destruction he could cause is limitless. Have we been able to get a fix on where the traitors are heading? Unfortunately, no. They slipped off-world before we could mobilize to track them. You'll have to hunt them down, Lieutenant. I hope you're prepared. In any case, your work here is done. I've got a shuttle prepped, and you're going to Coruscant for your next assignment. When you arrive on Coruscant, report immediately to the head of Spec Force Division, General Garza. She'll be issuing your orders from now on. Understood, sir. You'd better get to your shuttle. It's waiting for you in the landing bay. Lieutenant, Sergeant, you're dismissed. I hope I see you again someday. Nice. What we've got here, we got some customizations for Jorgen. Wow, that's some hair you got there, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Oh, I like that one too. Hmm. Let's go with this one here. I like this middle one. Oh, good. He's in uniform now. I was wondering. I was like, you know, he, I wanted to get him all troopered out and stuff. I'm gonna have to change this color scheme though, because I wanna, I wanna make my whole, whole Havoc squad matching color. So I'll probably dye it. Uh, let's go here. Let's find our way out of here. for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for future videos and I will see you in the next one.